Welcome guys, we're at Show Me Tent. You already know that, you tuned in. You're probably subscribed and if you're not, jump on the channel, right? So what we're gonna do, something super popular, it's called headlight and tail light film. A lot of people don't know it's possible. It's a film that goes over your headlights and what it does is it just makes them look tinted. It's pretty simple. It's an easy way to customize your vehicle. Actually, you can do this at home. You don't even need me. It'd be cooler if you had a shop. It'd be cooler if you came by, you know, but you know, honestly, I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself. First thing, get a badass shop like this. No, you don't need one, I'm just kidding. First thing you need is just some tint. You wanna, you're gonna need a headlight and you're gonna need some kind of your choice. We use Lux Film, which is a super good, it lets a lot of light out. You don't want this, you don't wanna spray paint your lenses. I've seen that before. So just watch out because I've had to clean that up and that's a nightmare. What's, what's fun about this is if you look at this lens, you can see it's damaged. This is an older lens. The sun like actually erodes the outer layer and it, the plastic starts to break down. When we tint it, it's gonna look new again. It's gonna look like, oh man, it's brand new. So I'm gonna grab it. We're gonna start kind of going through the motions. I haven't done this in like forever, ever, forever, ever, ever. I don't even remember what it's not. Wait, better measure it first. I don't wanna forget. You gotta know how big it is. That's what she says. 22 is large and in charge, in case you're wondering. Two by 12. All right, 22 by 12. It's packing heat. Let's see what we got over here. Oh my God, it was meant to be. I don't have to do any extra cutting. I hope your guys' works out that way. We're just gonna cut once and measure once. I think you're supposed to do more than that. You're supposed to like cut once or measure twice or twice measurely once cut, something. It's a thing. Before this, you didn't see the prep, but you wanna clean it. Some people buff it. You can do a bunch, you know what I mean? You can have me buff it and then you can tin it, whatever. But you don't want me buffing this, honestly. All right, we're gonna slap it on. This is super complicated. Make sure you watch this. You gotta like peel it off, peel it off, right? We're peeling it open. Oh, it's out there. So this is the adhesive. If this is a real application, you wanna minimize this because dirt and debris can like get into your film. You don't want that. Another thing to worry about also is the painted surfaces around it. Believe it or not, one time I, I was doing this and the paint was bad and, oh, I forgot my squeegee. Hang on one second, I'll be right back. And I don't have one. Oh, I got one, I got one. Don't worry, I got one. I have a bunch of paint protection squeegees, not a bunch of vinyl squeegees. This is like what they call a vinyl card, something with a little cush on it. Okay, so we're just gonna, gonna attack one side. I've seen a bunch of professional videos out there of, and really all you're doing is you're stretching out all the bulk you can and this material will kind of stretch out and then you're working the air out of the sides, right? So it's nothing too crazy. You can do this. Look, I can do it, you can do it. See, stretching her out. See that move? Boom, bam, you got that. If you actually do this at home and you do it, please comment in there. That'd be super cool. It helps us out. YouTube is like trying to keep us down and we're like, no YouTube, we're coming. You like it or not, get ready. So just jump in there. It really helps us out. Even if you, even if you think I'm doing it wrong, jump in there and tell me. I'm cool with learning. I'm always wanting to learn new, something new. This is just an easy way to do it. This film makes it easy. So now basically the headlights tinted, right? For the majority part. And what's happening next is we're gonna trim off the excess. So pick your favorite sharp knife. Oh, don't cut yourself. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure we're going past the edge. Chance, thanks for letting me use your Corvette as a demo, sorry. If you like this, we can leave it on. This is one of my favorite customers, he's super cool. So what I'm doing now is I'm just making sure I'm down to the edge. You wanna make sure you're covering all your light. Well, cover as much or as little of it as you want, really. I've had people tint top of it, part of it, put eyebrows or mustaches on it, whatever you like. We're just working it around. Super easy. You got that. I like to have my headlights on when I'm doing something like this. You don't have to do that. Okay. okay. Boom. So we're just gonna pick a spot and we're gonna slowly run our knife down it. What I'm trying to do, if you look real close, it'd be better. See, it's like a it's bridge between the panel. So like this, nothing's actually touching right now. We're just kind of running it in that little channel gap. 
because you do not want to cut someone's car. They absolutely hate it, I promise you. Customers hate it. They like, oh, they'll be like, oh my God, you just cut my car. I'm so mad right now. So let's avoid that. If you cut your own car, you can actually. Just be like, Randy said I had permission to cut my own car. Wait, I don't know if we can do that on YouTube. Can we do that on YouTube? I don't know. We better be careful. Don't cut your car. Just the hindsight. Disregard that. Kind of whizzing through this. Oh, see how it's like pulling back? Kind of. We probably should have went ahead and post heated it before we trim the edges. We can do that a little bit now. This film, and your film might have different recommendations, but they, they say that you want to heat it up to 200 degrees. Let's get it hot. We're getting it hot right now, so we it's called uh, post heating the material, which is basically what we're doing. If you can imagine, it's getting hot, so it's it's activating the adhesive, which is what you want it to stick down. Like you've, you've got it where you want it. And so what we're doing now is just helping it kind of bond onto the material. There we go. We'll post heat. Make sure you get out your thermometer, check it out. And this is a simple way to customize your vehicle. Super easy. And I know you guys be ordering stuff online. And you be attacking me. You be like, hey man, I'm gonna try it myself first. Oh my God. I think you can get this on Amazon, yeah. Yeah, I think you can get it on Amazon. We'll put a little link down there, I think so. So you can, you should be able to like, get on there and buy it right away. They don't give me any extra credit for that, but it'd be cool if they did. It'd be a whole lot cooler if you did. I'm be like, there you go. One tinted headlight for all your friends and family to go all over. And I like to go over the outside edge with heat one more time. And kind of just check your area, make sure it looks good. This part has a little extra we're probably going to trim off. But don't be discouraged if you don't, it doesn't go right the first time. If it doesn't look as easy, don't be discouraged. You know what I mean? I'm one time I never did this before and it took me a long time. So, you know, just give it a shot, you know? See if you can do it. Again, this was, uh, what was this again? Lux Light Wrap. Boom. LuxAutoConcepts.net. They got a YouTube channel. What up? We'll have more tutorials, tortillas, or tutorials, tortillas. We'll have both. We'll have nachos, and we're gonna have some more videos to show you how to do some stuff. Subscribe, check it out, and we'll. we'll and if you want to see anything cool, if you want me to show you how to do something, comment on there. I'll show you how to do it. So, even, try to stump. We'll do some stuff. Let's do some stuff. Come on, hit me up. All right, thank you guys for stopping in. Take this out there before Chance finds out. Back to stock. Thank you.